And we're back with a very special edition of the Screen Team on today's Talk 930 KWOC. What we're doing this evening is we are doing Christmas films that have to do with horror or have some horror elements to it. Scary Christmas. Scary Christmas. And I got the idea from Tracy over here. Tracy, (laughs) that's right, Scary Christmas. (laughs) Tracy uh, sent me a link to see uh, Krampus, which is uh, the new movie that's out. And it's basically a movie that's based with Christmas and a lot of horror elements come in. And I was like, oh, we should do like a, a show about that. So I was looking through all the list of horror Christmas films. And there's a lot of cheesy B ones <laughs> like, you know, Santa Claus Kills or something like that, you know. But uh, um, I think the three that we picked are, are pretty decent. Uh, we're doing The Nightmare Before Christmas. We're doing Gremlins, and we're going to finish up with Krampus. So let's start with The Nightmare Before Christmas. This uh, wasn't at first considered a classic, but today it actually is kind of kind of considered a modern classic. Uh-huh. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys consider this a, a modern classic, Sabrina? I think I am more... I mean, the movie is a Tim Burton, and it kind of is one of those Tim Burton movies that caused him to go from eh to wow, in right. my opinion. And um, the 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 franchise aspect of the movie is phenomenal. It's oh. just it's got its own following, and any time a movie can accomplish that, then you know it's, it's pretty cool. It's I yeah. mean it's like almost a fashion statement. I mean there's so many different novelty items that you can get that support the movie. A person can be a fan of the movie and never have seen it. <laughs> it's a movie that's so you know over twenty years old, and the the property rights are you know through the it's roof. Just crazy! Um, I, I went to uh, Disneyland um, and went through the the haunted mansion, mm-hmm. and it was during the month of October, and this was fifteen years ago, and the whole thing was decked out in Nightmare Before Christmas. Really, I when I saw the movie, that was the first thought I had was this would make a really good amusement ride. It, 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 they do they transform they did at the time they transformed meant a haunted mansion. So did it. it look like Oogie Boogie? Everything. Everything. <laughs> all the flying creatures, everything had been revamped and turned into um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I think that the movie itself is, um, the animation is awesome. The storyline is very, very interesting and, and out of the norm. And um, even Luke has watched it. <laughs> uh, he likes he, it too. You know, he does like it. Um, I don't know if he knows what he likes about it, but... There are times when you just have to go, you know, I th- can't we just watch Rudolph <laughs> instead? Well, it's very bright. It's very psychedelic. It catches the attention. This is true. This is true. So, Tracy, I'm curious. W- was this a first viewing for you or had you seen it before? I had never seen it before. I watched it just for this review. So, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. What did, what did you think about it? Well, I did try to watch it a few times before and mm-hmm. I could never get past that first song. For some reason, it just, I couldn't. Now, the song will stick in your head for days, and which, of course, now I can't even think of it. But, you know, it, it does. It's in there. I was singing it in the car for the whole week after watching it. The movie... Uh, Do you think it's so, overrated? For me, it is. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm with you a lot on this, Tracy. Because it just... The story didn't pull me in. I mm-hmm. wasn't, you know... There was no will they, won't they with the love story. You know, it was obvious they were. Mm-hmm. And he was so disillusioned with Sandy Claus, and Santa Claus did kind of look creepy in there. And I felt bad for him with every idea he had, and everybody was just going, all these other creatures trying so hard to help him and getting everything wrong, and Christmas is ruined. But I didn't get the cult following from it. I didn't understand it. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, I, like Sabrina, I think the animation is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's it's um, you know fascinating to see the animation in this film, but the story and the songs just bore me. They really do. <laughs> now, if if you're in a certain mindset, then <laughs> it's possible that it would be more interesting. Would that be pre-tween? Pre-tween? What do they call it? Tween? Millennials? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I could see them having some fascination with the morbidity of it. I guess. Yeah. Mm, I wasn't thinking age so oh. much as just state of mind. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. <laughs> um, so you have uh, a couple of young ones. Um, did they get to see the film? And if they did, did they like it? Oh, yes, they did. I've, my daughter, Lily, watched it with me. And she's down over here. Lily, did you like it? What? Nightmare Before Christmas? Yes. I loved it. 
She loved she it. She loved it. And how old is she again? <laughs> She's 10. Okay. Come here. Come <laughs> here and tell everybody what you thought. I thought it was awesome. It, it's a really cool music. Mm-hmm. About, the, about the king of Halloween. And he likes this girl in it. This crazy guy made. Who's, and everybody in here is dead. I don't know where that is. But, well... So, there's so, a, there's so, a lot of songs. There are. Did, let me ask you something. Did, did the songs bother you? Did they Did they keep you interested? Yes, they did keep me interested, mm-hmm. and I love the songs. So do you think a lot of your friends at school, do you think this would be a movie that they might like? Kind of, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in fourth grade, so usually nobody likes that. Okay. okay. I did I, like the scientist guy, because he was sort of a precursor to Edward Scissorhands scientist guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have liked it if the movie had just been the story of him and the girl. I would have that enjoyed sucked. it more. So, so you didn't, you didn't, you didn't <laughs> like you didn't like Jack Skeleton then, or what's his name? He was okay, yeah. but I mean, and the the juxtaposition of him being a good guy with a kind heart, and then the creepy face that mm-hmm. was that was okay, but it wasn't enough for me. Okay, all right. So I got to get uh, star ratings from each and every one of you guys. Out of five stars, what would you give this film? Five being the best, and one being the worst. Five. Okay, Sabrina, what would you give it? I'll give it a three. Three? Tracy? Okay. I'd say three, just because it was so colorful that, you know, like earlier, <laughs> it'd make a great ride. I'd love to have been on that ride and seen what they did with it. Yeah. That would have been awesome, except for when they meet the the buggy guy who has, <laughs> the, who's just a sack with a bunch of bugs inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it a three as well, but um, a lot Everybody of people... Everybody keeps it as a three. Except it's for you. Five. You gave it a five. That's, I mean, that's that's what we're here for. Each Everybody has a different opinion. And uh, you gave it a five, so you really, really like it. I do. Awesome. Coming up after the break, we're going to review Gremlins. That's coming your way next on Today's Talk 930 KWOC.